Hello everyone, today, in this video, I'll show you how to create a trial environment in Power Platform and how to extend a trial environment after expiry. Log into your Power Platform Admin Center using your admin account. Click on the Environments menu from the left side panel. You will see all your previously created environments. Click on the Create New Environment link at the top. Enter your environment name. For the make this a managed environment, keep it as no. However, you can make it as yes. Select your environment region. Select your environment type from the list like trial, subscription based, or developer, production, trial, or sandbox. I will select trial as this is a trial tenant. I don't have storage capacity for other types. However, the process of creating a new environment is the same, whatever the type you select. For the add a Dataverse data store, change this to yes. Click on the next button. Assign a security group to this environment or opt for open access before saving. Here I can select a security group to make it restricted access or keep it as open access. Click on the Done button. Then click on the Save button. I got the error as you've reached the limit of one trial environments. Create a production environment to continue. The environment's consuming quota are shown on the screen. As this is my trial tenant, I have the limitation of having one trial environment. However, this is the way to create a new environment in Power Platform, whatever type of environment it could be. Now, let me show you how to extend an environment after it expires. This is my trial type environment, which I created a month ago, and now it is in an expired state. Let me show you we can extend it. Open the environment link. At the topmost right corner, you can see a button, Extend Trial. Click on this button. Read the message about this environment before you extend. Extending will add up to 30 days to this environment's trial period. You can only do this once. After extending the trial, you must convert this environment to a production type to keep it beyond the expiration date. Further extension requests will not be granted. Click on the Extend Trial button. That's it. We are done. In this video, we have learned how to create an environment in Power Platform and how to extend a trial environment after it expires. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.